Oh, it is Saturday night. It's the night of the clocks going forward and I am getting ready to go to bed even though it feels quite early. It's been a funny old day. For breakfast I had a baked egg and then for lunch I had something that I talked about in one of my floss tube videos which is a sort of traditional African food called sudza and relish. So sudza is a sort of maize mealy meal. Because it's made out of corn it's obviously gluten free. I've always hated it. Um, as a child I hated being given it. I always felt that it was really stodgy. You had it with relish which was tomato based and I really don't like tomato. I always thought that this was like the worst meal. However, we haven't had it for about 15 years. <laughs> and with my newfound adultness, and also the fact that I'm looking for foods that are gluten-free, I thought that this would be a good chance to try out a food that I'm supposed to like and never really have. The good news is it was really tasty. So I'm going to stick a clip in here of mum explaining how it's made, and then I will also link to a recipe for you. I'm making some sadza, which is crushed white maize meal, and staple food of Southern Africa and basically I've boiled a pot of water with lots of salt and then I've mixed the crushed maize meal with some cold water and then poured it into the boiling hot water and now I'm stirring it until it um, thickens up. And what do you say when you stir sadza? Billy, Billy, Sadza. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to make some banana bread today. We had some bananas that were overripe and mum and I had gone to Tesco to buy supplies for Easter weekend and I'm planning to make a cake for my gran because it was her birthday the other day. So I had all of the sort of gluten-free baking equipment that I needed to make banana bread. Oh my goodness, you guys, it was delicious. I can't remember which recipe I used, but it was one that I found online. I think it's the Unimitable Baker or something. Anyway, I will put a link to that in the description box below. It was really, really tasty. I substituted the coconut oil. Um, I didn't have any, so I used olive oil instead, and I think the coconut oil would have made quite a big difference to the taste. But it, it worked really well, it was tasty, it went down well, and um, it fed five of us for one tea and then um, there's still half the cake left for bread. So that was really, really good and I enjoyed it. And then for dinner tonight we had just general roast stuff. We made a gravy and we only had gluten-based or flour, wheat-based um, gravy powder. So we made our gravy from scratch and it was really tasty. I've been feeling really tired today. I think it's because I had a cider yesterday and I haven't really been drinking anything but I'm still enjoying the journey and still intending to keep going beyond the end I don't know if I've already stated that but I am intending to keep going I'm getting lots of comments from everybody saying thank you for filming and the general consensus on should I split my channel into two different groups was a no so I'm not going to do that yet or for now or maybe ever, who knows? Thank you all ever so much for your comments and your likes and your subscribes. I'm always happy to receive any of those things and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. It's Easter Sunday, so we've got some exciting things going on. Bye. Breathe.